if you look good, you feel good, right? I feel so much more confident and powerful and strong. Yeah, I just feel very bloated. I literally would dance in front of the mirror every single day, really showing off my stomach. Guess what time it is right now? Guess? Guess what time? It's not even 5 o'clock yet. It's 4.50. I've been awake for like half an hour. Um, I woke up at like 4.25. I don't know, I feel like this whole night has just been kind of like weird. It's been whack. I feel like I've... I, I, I just feel like I've... Whoa. I feel like I haven't had a proper night's rest. I just but like I was awake for a lot of the night. You know what? Right now it's almost five o'clock. Might as well. Okay. <laughs> I might as well just do something, anything right now. You know what? I'm gonna romanticize me waking up early. I'm gonna try to be productive somewhat, you know, maybe I'll try to read a book. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna read a book. It ends with us by Clean Hoover. Apparently it's a really good book. My friends recommended it. I've seen it, you know, all over. All over what? I don't know. I've just seen it. Okay, apparently it's a really good book, so I'm gonna try and read it now. <laughs> in the longest I could remember that I haven't actually had my first glass of water before I had breakfast so this is a snack my post breakfast snack I literally had breakfast like two minutes ago but I was craving Nutrigrain and I haven't had my first glass of water yet I actually finished the section of what was that section? no it's not section I'm not section I finished. Now I feel like talking. Sorry, guys, I actually can't. I was gonna force myself to film something right now, you know, have a chat, but honestly, I'm not really. I don't really feel like it. So I'm gonna put the camera down and pick it up when I actually do feel like, feel like filming. That's me, be honest. Yeah, I don't know, baby, gonna give it up. That was a really decent session. Um, I'm really hungry because I haven't eaten since like 3 p.m. So I'm gonna just have tuna and rice today with some seaweed because I really don't want to wait for anything. And tuna and rice is always a yes for me. I literally can never get sick of tuna. This has literally got 38 grams of protein in it. So <laughs> that's why I love tuna so much because of the protein content. Loki, Loki. Literally, if you guys have an Aldi, get their spicy tuna. It's literally the best tuna. It's close enough to Serena tuna and Serena tuna is the best tuna. In my opinion, my personal opinion. Um, so yeah. Oh, I'm so hungry. Mmm. Okay, make this up. I love vinegary things, okay? That's something I crave, I tend to crave vinegary things. 
So this is like a Filipino one. Filipino vinegar. Um, it is called Pina Corat. If you really like your vinegar, I feel like you'd like this. It's like a salty vinegar. I'm like, mm, this stuff is good. I mean, it's not the best for you because it's very high in sodium. But it's delicious. So you just pour it in like that. Not too much. Oop. Okay. And then some apple cider vinegar for more extra sourness because I love soury vinegary things i do and then you just yup delicious some might say it's weird but i like it so do not come for me and then you just <laughs> got some spicy seaweed it has to be spicy or else it's not the same usually people put um cheapy mayo in with the tuna but we like vinegar so oh, i love this cheers Mm -mm. I don't know if it's just because I'm hungry. This is hit. This is hitting real good today. So have you been? Like, let's just pretend we're on like a date right now. So how's life? I see. Hmm. We all have our ups and downs, you know. Without the downs, cannot appreciate the highs in life. It's just a part of life. We've got experience. The sadness, the hardships, you know, it makes you stronger as a person. <laughs> that feels so weird. <gasps> yeah, that's it's a bit much, talking to myself like that. Not gonna lie. For me right now, at this moment, it's really good. Like, I'm not just saying that, it's actually so good. I feel like things are working out for me right now, just all falling into place. And I don't know, I just feel very content with my life right now. Uh, my older sister... Just recently gave birth, like a couple days ago. I have a nephew, guys. Like, it's just, it's crazy. Like, I'm a tita. It means aunt, auntie in the normal English term. But for us Filipinos or Filipina, we, <laughs> we are called tita. So I'm tita Jill. It's just very great. <laughs> I don't know, like, honestly, I just feel like I have so much more purpose with my life right now. I just feel like I know which direction I'm headed in life. Like, I just, I'm enjoying vlogging again. Like, I'm finding the joy in the things that I am doing. And, you know, it's just very fulfilling to actually find joy in the daily things that I'm doing. Like, I'm enjoying my daily morning walks. Like, it's just something about it that just gets me so excited to go for my walks in the morning. And... You know, doing my yoga, reading. I've gotten back into reading again. I don't know. It's just, it's the simple things that I am learning to appreciate again that's making me excited about life. You know? Yeah, I t I'm trying to focus more on the, the good things that are happening in my life rather than what is missing or what could be better because, you know, I just feel like if you get so caught up in wanting to be somewhere or wanting to have something you you're constantly going to be chasing that something if that makes sense yeah that's just just thought i'd share that little insight with you guys and this has gotten so soggy right now look at it ew <laughs> yep after um doing all them dancing oh. you know what i'm actually loving the fact that it's getting cooler here in australia i don't know i just honestly i prefer cool to see the <laughs> but yeah i prefer the cooler season simply because i love like bundling up i love oversized hoodies i love massive Oversized trackies or joggers, I don't know what you call them. I'm sorry, I have a pimple patch. She kind of grew overnight to be honest, and we don't we don't want her. So we're trying to delete her right now. We're trying to eliminate the existence of this pimple by putting a pimple patch over it. And I'm really hot. Oh my god, I'm really hot. Oh, I look white in this lighting, that's a bit weird. Anyways, okay, so I you know how I was meant. Oh, 
Let me just get some water actually. Oh. This is your reminder to drink some water like right now, please. Please drink your water. Drink like two to three liters a day. Remember, our body is made out of 70% water. So you got to keep refilling that. You pee. You sweat. So how, how else are you meant to replenish all that water if you don't drink water, you know? Just drink a glass of water every couple hours. I would literally just set a reminder on my phone. A reminder every few hours saying, drink water. I have reminders on my phone all the time. Some daily habits or rituals that you want to incorporate into your daily routine. It works. If you want to go for a 30 minute walk, remind yourself at like 5 p.m. Go for your morning walk. Morning walk. Sorry. I'm sorry. Not morning walk, afternoon walk. Transition in three, two, one. Okay, I think I might go for this one. Do I like this? I don't know. I'm very indecisive today with what I want to wear. Okay, so personally, I love putting effort into how I look at the gym because it makes me feel confident. And also, another thing if you look good you feel good right so when you feel good you tend to put more effort into what it is you're doing so for me when I feel good I tend to work out harder <laughs> you know <laughs> I don't know I just yeah like that's how I think of it as I feel so much more confident and powerful and strong to work out harder because I, I look good you know like it's just yeah. To be completely honest with you guys, I think I'm going to switch out of this outfit because I'm feeling a bit bloated. I know I'm letting it get to me, but I don't know. It's just one of those days where I don't really feel like putting up with it, you know? I don't want to feel insecure at the gym, so I'm just going to get changed because right now I'm feeling a bit puffy, you know? So I'm just going to change out of this and wear something that I will feel comfortable in. Comfortable and confident in. I'm choosing to prevent myself from feeling insecure at the gym. So I'm just going to change out of this so that I can feel comfortable at the gym. You know, oh, that's, that's just, I thought I'll let you guys know about that. But yeah, I just, I feel like it's okay to have those days where you don't feel your best. But it depends on whether or not you choose to feel sorry for yourself and do nothing about it. Or, you know change something about it so that you feel better about yourself if that makes sense okay so i have to like fix the lighting of this room because the sun is coming directly into my room now so it's kind of altering with the lighting but you know what let's go have a look in my closet and see what i feel like wearing today what do i feel like wearing today I might change out of these leggings i think it's the leggings that are really kind of getting to me at the moment it's just yeah, I'm feeling very bulge. It's, I know it's not bad for some people, but for me, it's very, yeah, I just feel very bloated. And to be honest, I've been having a bit of um, digestion problems this today, this morning. I was like this morning, but today in general. My stomach has been kind of feeling a bit funky, so. But that's alright. Usually I know what to wear, but today I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know what to wear. Okay, I decided on an outfit. I feel really good about this outfit. I'll show you guys. I'm wearing this. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Did not expect the wall to be that far. I'm much more covered up this time around, which I'm really happy about. Yeah, I feel comfortable in this outfit. Ooh. I haven't worn this in ages. It's been a few months or a couple months. So this top is from Crop... Sorry. <laughs> from Cotton On. Cotton On Buddy. And then Gymshark leggings. I'm happy I changed. I really am. Yes. I, I better get ready, 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 ready. Because I gotta go soon. Are you dancing? Is she a baddie? Is she a baddie? Is she a baddie? Okay. Alright, I'm at the gym now. I'm so freaking excited. I feel like it's because the pre workout has kicked in. I'm not gonna get too excited, but I'm so excited.
So I decided to test for my PR. It was my first time trying 160 and I was able to do it for one rep. I'm so proud of myself, woo! Look at this chick, she's doing 170. Proud of her, look at her. Exhausted. I don't know what it is. I woke up tired, like dead ass tired. I woke up at like 6 a.m. I was like, okay, I'm gonna listen to some affirmations. So I did. I listened to some affirmations like for 10 minutes. And then all of a sudden, I just knocked out. I was like, all right, I got up. Well, I was like, oh, see you later. I'm going to sleep. And then I woke up just before 8. Still so tired. I'm like, no, I need to get up. <laughs> I need to get up. I've had like a full eight hours of sleep. Um, I feel like for me, I really just don't like to sleep in. That's just, that's just who I've always been. Honestly, I've always been a morning person ever since I was a young kid. I've always loved sleeping early and then waking up early. It's just always been my thing. So I feel like I've never gotten rid of that my entire life. So I, I don't know. It's just in my blood. To my nature to wake up early and sleep earlier. Let me just take a bite of this banana right now, okay? I'm not hungry, but I'm, I was craving a banana. Such a weird, random craving to crave a banana, but we go with it. <laughs> it's a good banana. It's perfectly ripe. It's sweet and firm at the same time. Like sometimes when bananas are sweet, it's too mushy and the texture is not right. This. Got to be like one of the best bananas I've had. <laughs> That's saying a lot. <laughs> you know what I just realized? It is the 1st of April. It's already the 1st of April! Oh my god! It's the 1st of April. We're already in April. I don't know what happened to the month of March or even this entire year. What has happened? It's Friday, the 1st of April. <laughs> she a bad bitch, she ain't average, she a savage, she living lavish. You know what? The funny thing is, it's not funny. I don't know why I'm saying it's funny. It's not funny. I mean, it can be funny. <laughs> Anyways, as I was trying to say, I guess in the peak of my self love self-development journey when I guess when I was working towards completely loving myself like loving myself unconditionally I literally would dance in front of the mirror every single day in my bra undies or literally showing off my stomach like that to associate you know happy good feelings towards my body and I feel like that was very effective I'm not gonna lie like it was hella effective because I started actually appreciating my body for how it is. I feel like I want to start doing that more often again because I've kind of fallen, I've definitely fallen off track with being more accepting of my body as of recently. So yeah, I feel like I want to do that again every morning or whenever really and just dance, you know? <laughs> You know, try it for yourself. It honestly might work for you. Because I love dancing. I'm not the best at it, but, you know, it always makes me feel good. So when you associate happy, good feelings with your body, you'll start to kind of associate good feelings towards your body. I don't know. I know there's good reasoning behind what it is I'm doing. <laughs> But you should do it too, you really should. You guys can hear like some background noise. I am currently running the laundry at the moment, so sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. I'm not really sorry.
sorry. I just needed to shake it out because I've been feeling very stagnant today. Like I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, it's so weird because it is my rest day today. And usually on Fridays I am doing something. Like I usually meet up with my sister on Fridays. Um, but today it's... I'm doing nothing. And it feels weird. Like I have nothing to do. I know I should do something for myself. Spend some time with myself. Go on a date with myself. But I don't really feel like doing that. And I've just been scrolling on my phone. For the last couple hours. Yeah, guilty. I am very guilty of that. I even have a time limit on my phone. Like, I literally have a one hour time limit on TikTok and Instagram every day, and I always exceed it. <laughs> always. <laughs> okay. I allow myself to scroll. Like, it is part of life now. It is what it is. Like, it's just. It's a part of the world that we live in. But it's also not healthy to always be scrolling. I'm trying to do it less and less. I am doing it much less than I used to. Um, but I'm still doing a lot of scrolling. More than I want. <sighs> and it's frustrating. It's because like I finished the book that I was reading the other day. I finished the uh, book This Ends With Us two nights ago. I ended up staying till 12am for that. Oh my goodness. Like I don't usually like to stay up. But I was like okay I need to get this done. Because I want to finish it. <laughs> so I finished it. And everyone said that they cried and I didn't. Like, is that a bad thing that I didn't cry? If you guys have read This this Ends With Us, did you cry? Because <laughs> I didn't. Uh, is it bad that I didn't cry? Because usually I do get really emotional with books that involve a lot of um, sad endings or emotional bits and pieces in there. <laughs> emotional bits and pieces. But yeah, I'm just like, I didn't cry. Like, I got sad, I got a bit teary-eyed, like a smidge, but I didn't cry. So I kind of feel a bit heartless that I didn't cry. So maybe I should journal. Because, like, lately I've been trying to journal at night, but then I get so tired when I get to bed. So I'm, I can only write about a paragraph, and I'm just like, I'm literally trying to stay awake writing on my journal, but I just can't do it, like, my brain shuts off. So maybe I should journal a bit now. I guess, to just get some of my feelings out so I can feel better. Uh. I cannot stop eating these grapes. My mum said they're fairy floss grapes, but I thought the fairy floss grapes were green. But regardless, they're so good. I was gonna say I'm not really a, what is this random ass? <laughs> I was gonna say I'm usually not a fan of grapes, but I mean, it depends on my mood, I guess. But lately, I've been really into grapes, I guess. <laughs> These are like the best grapes I've had ever, I think. It is nature's candy. We love nature's candy. Thought I'd let you guys know. Whoa, I think this one's a really long one. Oh, that one's a long one. Yeah, this one. Wait, let me find a really long one. It's as long as my nose. Look at that. See? 